Now we'll demonstrate how to uh, save uh, comments and annotations about files and about uh, animals. In general, if I want to open a file, a uh, sound file of any animals, uh, I can look below at the sonograms, uh, change contrast, etc., and enable playbacks so that I can play the sounds as in here. But sometimes I want to remember uh, what kind of information uh, I analyze or want to analyze about sounds. So uh, even uh, at the viewer here, it's quite easy to just to type a few comments. For example, first sound in the file in the folder, and just save them. And then as we keep going and write other things. We can see them again when we go back to those files. And then we'll, if we open now this file, you'll see the same comments here. And then again we can edit it here and save it so that we have updated comments about the file. But notice that no information about the animal is available because we never uploaded anything about it. So it's good uh, to uh, create uh, animal files um, in the tables. And in order to do that, uh, you know, the name of the files in the conversion of sound analysis names is always the beginning uh, of the file, in this case, uh, 467. So if we now click here, load animal, and make new animal, and let's call it and um, now uh, we can set whatever other information we need about the animal. It doesn't, it's not necessary, but we can write whatever we want. Uh, this file is from Seth's project. And this file, uh, we, this bird was actually hatched in 2004. Um, OK, so now we click OK. And notice now that the animal name and the age according to the file age, which in this case 123 days, appears already here. So every time you're going to open a file that starts with those characters, it will actually show us uh, this information here in addition to the information about specific file. So we have animal information and file information uh, all uh, available for us in order to open the right file and remember information about them.